Um, good afternoon, Juan David Ray Silva from South Texas Border Sports. I just wanted to ask you, you know, you guys are going into a, a difficult uh, points uh, pa uh, Patriot uh, field uh, where Charleston Battery is playing for, for just pride now. What do you do as a team to just concentrate for yourselves uh, heading into Friday's match? Um, basically, those are the, the trickiest games that you can play because uh, we are fighting uh, or moving forward to, to get a spot um, to the playoff, but they they're like uh, having a lot of difficulties on getting points so we cannot um, be distracted about that uh, our goals are determined uh, our goals are set up so uh, our mind is uh, going there try to keep the level we've been having we've been showing and um, no matter what uh, or how they are what position understandings they are um, we are we are focused on us and um, the way we we kind of understand that is the way we are gonna go uh, on the field and uh, try to translate that uh, in the way we play, in the way we manage the game. And basically, it's, our, it's our one more final for us. We've been in, in that journey uh, for a, a few weeks, and this is now, this is now like uh, something different. This game is, is, is another final for us. Yes, uh, Juan David, uh, you know, you guys have been able to win in di with different styles. And, and last weekend, it showed that you guys weren't able to have a lot of possession of the ball. And you guys were able to hold a potent Colorado Springs. Uh, for this certain matchup now, do you guys ch change the way you guys want to play on the road now? Because the, the result uh, needs to favor you guys a little bit more. And you guys are going to go in there with, with more pressure to try to get more more road points on the road. At this point, we we shouldn't we shouldn't change anything. Uh, this is what has worked so far, uh, not only at home but uh, on on the road. And if you see the way we play uh, against uh, El Paso, for example, we try to, to diversify the pressure. Obviously, you, you cannot put pressure 90 minutes, but um, identifying the, the time, uh, the rhythm of the game, uh, the way they play, the way we are, uh, if, if, if it's at the beginning, at the end, at the middle of the, the game, that way we manage the pressure. But for sure, uh, we, we got to address about having the ball and uh, having a good possession of, of, of the ball and uh, see how we can break them down and, and put them in their, in their half. That's, that's our main goal, that's our ideas. And obviously translate that possession uh, into goals that at the end it's, it's what it was really counts. And the last one for me, Juan David, uh, you being one of the leaders of the team, where do you tell the younger players who haven't been in this type of environment before where, you know, it's crunch time, you guys uh, have the uh, lead for that last playoff spot. What, what do you guys tell them in practice uh, before heading out to a big game like this? So the way we, we practice, the way we're going to play this point is um, one, one game at a time. Uh, we cannot be thinking about Monterey or Memphis or whatever until we play the next one. It's, this is the most important game for us in, in the season. And um, for sure, we, we got to be really focused and concentrated mentally and physically, but, but uh, 
foremost form, foremost um, thing that we he, we have to address is is being really concentrated and focused mentally at this point uh, with this type of games. Mm, the mentally aspect is the most important because that that lead you um, to the other aspects, you know, physically and uh, about the capacity you have to to deal with any with every kind of um, moment of the game. Uh, mentally, being mentally strong, united and compact is, I think, is one of the keys at this point. Thank you.